Hey guys, Gary Cologne here from Local Reptiles. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we're gonna to be doing something super cool. Um, I was at PetSmart. We go there from time to time uh, for feeders and I found a really cool deal. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So today we're gonna to be unboxing this. So what this is, is a Thrive, it's a terrarium, it's for uh, different kinds of animals. We're using it for our beardy. Um, in the front, you can see the different kind of animals that it recommends, but essentially, quick disclaimer on this, it's not what you wanna house an adult bearded dragon in. This is going to be lemonade, teenage years sort of terrarium. Um, we really wanna put her in a four by two by two, this is going to be, I don't know what the dimensions are, but um, I can put it in the video. So we're not gonna be keeping our bearded dragon in this when she's an adult. This is just in transition phase and it was a really good deal, that's why we got it. So it's a little smaller than four by two by two. That's really what you wanna house an adult bearded dragon in. And typically I like the different types of enclosures that are kind of closed off in the background, um, like melamine wood or the compressed uh, plastic that you're seeing a lot nowadays but this is a good alternative and it's from PetSmart and the reason that we got a good deal on it was it was on sale and it had an extra clearance 25% off package on this so I think it came with about nine or ten things and it was $130 $140 for this entire setup with the lights with the light fixtures so we're gonna go through all of that now and unbox it and check it out all right this kit includes a 40 gallon glass terrarium with open front doors, a screen lid with lock and feeding door, Arcadia 100 watt essential basking bulb, 26 watt desert UVB, two 8.5 inch dome lamps, two thermometer hygrometer combos, a basking and hide decor, desert carpet substrate, which I'm a little iffy on, and a food and water dish. So at the end of the day, since we keep so many reptiles, all of this is gonna be amazing. So we just got it out of the box that it was in, got some of the wrapper off. But if you can see here, uh, there's just different areas for you to lock it. So on top, you could um, just kind of flip the switch right there and it has a lock unlock feature. It's actually super secure. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and unlock all of them. And that should be it. So we can lift the lid. You have that screen. And so the reason I like the melamine enclosures or like the compressed uh, material enclosures is because the light actually will go inside the terrarium instead of outside the terrarium. So they say that that mesh actually blocks some of the UVB from hitting your animal. And I would agree, right? It's something blocking the light. So um, that's why I prefer those enclosures with everything in them. Uh, this is again, a good alternative and it was on sale. So as you can see here, they have some stuff wrapped up. So I'm gonna click quickly unwrap it so you can see everything that the package came with. <sighs> All right, I'm back. Gonna take a quick commercial break. This video is brought to you by Local Reptiles. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't noticed right now, we are in a new setting for all five subscribers. Maybe you didn't notice, but more on that later. Back to the video. All right, so a couple easy things we'll get out the way first water and food dish. Bearded dragons, you're not really gonna see them drinking water too much. I don't even know if they can see still water, like uh, like water that's sitting still. So that's your food and water dish. We do feed them. I mean, we can put dubias in there from time to time, but their greens will for sure be going in there. Also, we have other reptiles, which we're gonna use those for. Our leopard geckos, which they it's just funny watching them eat. If we have a clip, we'll put it up. If you've never seen a leopard gecko eat before, it is hilarious. Like I would say 50% of the time they miss their food, maybe 30% of the time they miss their food. So it's just funny experience watching them and completely different from a bearded dragon, by the way. Our lemonade is a complete savage. Most bearded dragons are just complete savages when it comes to eating. Food and water dish there. Uh, you guys can help me out on this. It's a thermometer and hygrometer. Hyg hygrometer? Hyg hygrometer? Combo. Um, so this is interesting. It will tell you the uh, temperature as well as the humidity. So this is good. I mean, 
bearded dragons, they like it dry, so. So the next step is these UVB bulbs. Um, we're not gonna be really using them because we have our own setup. And again, we're talking about UVB. We like the strips. Uh, the strips cover the whole surface of the cage, which bring more natural sunlight, imitation sunlight to your bearded dragon or to your animal. So the thing about these, these dome lamps or these spot lamps or flood lamps, whatever you wanna call them, is that they're pretty focused, right? You put the heat bulb right here, it's gonna heat everything right here. And uh, when you have the strip for UVB, instead of the UVB bulb that points downwards and covers a smaller area of the cage, when you have the UVB strip, the whole strip that covers, the cro covers across, it's just a little better, right? Like your bearded dragon is not gonna have sunlight in one area unless they're hiding. And hey, by the way, great time to bring up this cave, this like natural looking rock cave that is pretty heavy it's also i think stuck to the bottom but it's a great area for basking and also if lemonade wanted to pop in here to hide from the sun and get some shade cool off she'll have uh, opportunity to do so here cool so we have this basking bulb which is 100 watt for this size cage that's probably pretty good we also have 75 and 50 watt bulbs just because we want to make sure that the area is like you know 95 to 100 whatever it needs to be for your animal um, and then what covered the UVB bulb that we're probably not gonna use, but good to point out anyways. All right, next thing we have these pretty easy to explain dome lamps. So these are 8.5 inch um, wide dome lamps. So it's a pretty good lamp. I would say it's more of a flood lamp and it will span across a good area here. Now Thrive, you see them at PetSmart all the time. If you go to PetSmart, it's a pretty good brand. Um, we're excited. We'll probably use one of these for the heat side. And again, we're not gonna use the other one because we have the strip. Last but not least. <laughs> last but not least, we have this reptile carpet that is reversible. So it is, if you wanna actually get a look of it, this is pretty cool. Desert reversible habitat carpet. So this one's pretty interesting. Um, it says it's reversible. So on one side it's rock style and the other side it's solid. I'm not gonna recommend this. Um, no offense to Thrive, it seemed like they're a great company providing all of this for you know enthusiasts or people just getting into the hobby um, that are shopping at PetSmart. Um, instead of like, if you weren't shopping at PetSmart, fun fact, if you go to a reptile show near you, you can get a lot of what you see here for probably around the price of what I paid, but it's not on sale and it's not on clearance. It's just normal prices at a reptile show compared to PetSmart. So sorry, PetSmart, I love you, but also sharing where to get the goods. So not gonna really recommend this. I'll use it, I'll let you know how it is, but I'm not really gonna recommend it. I heard something about like their nails maybe getting stuck, but as far as cleanliness, I don't know how clean this would be after a month or two months of having lemonade use it and abuse it. So that's why I'm not gonna recommend it, but it is pretty cool. I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you know, I'll let you know how it goes. So last but not least, we're just gonna do a fresh little clean on this. We don't know where it's been and I just wanna make sure it's good to go. Yep, so this is Lemonade. She's our Hypo Citrus Bearded Dragon from Hatched at Hillman's. I'll put a link to her profile in the description or into their profile. They do a lot of bearded dragons and they do other snakes and colubrids too, I believe, but they're super awesome to work with. So this is Lemonade, she's super awesome and we're gonna see how she likes her new cage. So I just wanna take a few minutes to cover what's included in the, um, in the actual coupon book. Uh, so, cause it says it comes with $80 of savings. So you have a free 12 count of crickets. She eats a lot more than that in one day. Anyways, 20% off any Thrive decor item, 50% off mealworms, 20% off any Thrive light bulb, pretty decent. 20% off any Thrive freeze dried food. Wonder if that is for frozen thought as well. 20% off any Thrive substrate. So you have a good amount of uh, savings in here. I guess it's over $80 worth of savings. So that's pretty cool. So it has this little coupon book. I changed up a little things. If you notice, uh, the substrate is not the, um, you know, carpet that it came with. Um, I just decided against it. Substrate is a huge topic in the industry. Um, personally, I've even seen them on loose substrate and do good. I know a lot of people don't like loose substrate, but 
Um, I, we just decided to go with paper towels for now. Um, see how she likes it and then we can take it from there. I really like a clean, maybe tile or slate experience that'll give us an opportunity to clean it well and it also looks good instead of it just being super bare like it is now. So now Lemonade is gonna enjoy this terrarium. I'm super excited, it's a little more fitting for her size. Again, since this isn't four by two by two, it's not going to be her forever home, but it's gonna be a great start in this transition period as she's like a teenager now, going into her adult years. And that pretty much is it. If you're interested in this product, um, I'll leave the link below in the, um, in the description. So we're gonna put Lemonade in the reptile room. She'll be good to go and happy in her new home for you know maybe the next six months. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, make sure to comment below and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.